New figures show inflation has now dropped to its lowest level in more than two years. But the pain is still real for consumers, including at the grocery store. And today, the Federal Reserve weighs in on interest rates, affecting everything from credit cards all the way to car loans. Here's ABC's Lionel Moise. This morning, the Federal Reserve is expected to pause its series of interest rate hikes amid new hope that inflation may be on track to return to normal levels. The latest consumer price index shows inflation has been cut in half from last year's peak. A year ago, inflation was close to 9% to in the month of May. We're back down to 4 still too high, but clearly moving in the right direction. While trending lower, inflation is still at double the target set by the Federal Reserve. The big question, though, if the Fed does pause in raising interest rates, will we at home even feel a difference? No, uh, I mean, because this is already embedded in interest rates in the stock market. Economists say it will take some time to feel the impact. Some positive signs in the latest report, airfare is down 13 percent in the last year and gas prices down nearly 20 percent. People are paying $3.50 for a gallon of regular unleaded. Go back a year ago, it was a record $5 a gallon. At the grocery store, prices rose slightly last month, but egg prices dropped, the largest monthly decline in more than 70 years. First thing people want to know is, do I have eggs? While many focus on food prices, it's housing costs that remain the biggest contributor to inflation, although there are signs that rents are finally coming down. If things go on the trend that they're going, when can we expect that inflation will be back to normal levels? Yeah, I expect inflation to be back uh, to something we all feel very good about, the Fed feels good about by this time next year, maybe a little sooner. Economists say now is the time to be a smart shopper. They say when consumers balk at high prices, businesses sometimes listen. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.